Hello, YouTube, and welcome back to another episode of Endless Ocean. We are back here into the Sea of Menorai, looking peacefully. I can't, I can't walk. <laughs> I was trying to walk a little bit that way. Oh my gosh. The walking on the boat is really weird at this part. I like stuck. Well, we're walking. <laughs> Not walking. We're looking peacefully at the sea on our little boat, the Gabiano here, while we are relaxing in this little paradise that is Menorai and exploring the ocean as we do so. So, last episode we explored a little bit of Wild Channel and we managed to find uh, a new area around here. We, like, explored all of this and I think we also did that area there, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, the phone's ringing. And we found a whale into the wild channel that was glitched outside of the water. And it was a flying whale. And that was pretty cool. And now I want to do some more exploring more seriously. Oh, there's a boat. There's a bird on the boat. There's a bird on the boat. I want to see that first. But yeah, I want to do some more serious exploring today. And some things not so much um, goofing around like we did last time. Where's the bird? Where did the bird go? Birdie! I know I saw a bird. Ah! Oh, I already found it, but only once. That's good. I'm gonna find it again. Second piece of info on it. Pretty cool. Alright, let's get into a mission. So, last episode, I said I would do a diving request because we had. This diving request from Alfred Tolman, I think. Was it Alfred Tolman? Obrey Tolman. Okay, not Alfred Tolman. Obrey Tolman. And uh, he wants us to... Oh, no, it's Mike Oldman. There we go. I'm so confused today. Okay. Mike Oldman is a client that wants us to guide, guide him into the ocean whenever we want. And I think now is the time, so... We can do that and respond to this. What does he want to see exactly? Coral forest. Okay. So let's reply to this email. Send. Send reply. Yes. Accept a guide request. Choose area for diving. He wants to see the coral forest. So I'm going to dive right in the coral forest. And while we're going to dive there, I'm also going to try to get those two pieces of map right there that I didn't get before. All right. Oh, he's coming. Thank you for accepting my request. My name is Mike Oldman. There's one fish I'd like to see in Manurai, the Humphead Ross. I haven't dived in a while, but I'm sure you won't let me down. I've dived to around 18 meters before, but haven't been deeper. Well, that's good because the coral forest is a very shallow area. I don't think it goes deeper than 18 meters. I might be wrong. I don't think it does, though. We do, uh... Yeah, we can do a... Uh, barrel roller. I don't know how to... Uh, exact. I forgot the name of it. Diving guide. Your job is to guide the client around and show them the creature they've requested to see. If you're able to locate and present the creature they wish to see to them, they'll no doubt be satisfied, be very satisfied with the dive. Okay, well this is going to be pretty easy because we need to show a humphead Ross, and we are in the coral forest, and there are a lot of those creatures in coral forest. Uh, I'm pretty sure I can find one of them right away. Yeah, there's one right there. We have to make sure that our client doesn't get lost around these pillars though. Because he needs to keep his field of view to us. It's possible to lose your client in this. And I don't mean like... Oh, there we go. That This is it. Thank you. Hello, can you hear me? How's it going down there? You're, the client's suitably impressed. Come up when you're ready. Humphead Ross. Do we have all the three info in it? Yeah, we do. Let's show him a couple more fish, though. Because he's just suitably impressed. I really want to stun him. I really want him to... Be amazed. 
You get the sense that your body is becoming transparent. But yeah, as I was saying, you can lose your client. And I mean, like, your client can just, like, forget where you are. Like, you can... If you go too much around the coral and he doesn't see you, then he panics. And then you can lose points on your dive for that. Diving into the sea never becomes boring. I totally agree. And I really wish I could do it in real life one day. Looks like this will be a memorable experience. Oh, he's happy. Oh, he's happy. But I'm gonna make you happier, man. Um, okay, let's try to get also the areas to be finished on the map while we're here. So let's try to focus a little bit on that and show him the fish on the way. Like these guys, for example, the blue tangs. The most beautiful things can be seen in the sea. Very poetic. I like it. And also these, these little guys here. Long nose butterfly. The most beautiful things can be seen. Oh, he just says the same thing. Yellow. Long nose butterfly fish. Yeah, that, those ones. Uh, we are pretty close of the area that we need to map out. Just gonna dive around this area here. Okay, we're right into it. Pretty good. And now going to the north. Yeah, we're right into it. And are we in it? Second area, not yet. This will be an experience to boast about. Oh, I'm so glad you're happy, man. <laughs> oh, I hope I'll get an A plus or something. I did some diving requests in my old save game, although it wasn't something I was focusing on at all, and I was keeping on forgetting about them. I want to be a little bit more uh, careful about it this time. Let's go see the samurai squirrel fish this way at L2 There's also a school of fish right there that I think you'll like to see I Really don't want to ah oh, The client has lost sight of you find them and regroup Yeah, that's exactly What happens when you lose your client and then this creepy music plays where is he? Okay, great, you're back together. Try to keep it that way from now on. Okay, and then the music changed so abruptly. How the heck did he lose me? I don't get it. I wasn't even, like, doing anything crazy. I didn't turn around a corner, if I'm not mistaken. I hope that all the oceans of the world remain peaceful forever. I really hope so, too. I really do hope so. But man is destroying it. And when I mean man, I mean like the human race is destroying the oceans little by little with pollution and all the garbage that our civilization is creating. It's kind of a sad story, but there are still some areas into the sea which are well preserved. But the number of areas that are well preserved is going down every day. I'm trying to get the um, A plus um, reply that he has. Where's the squirrel fish? There's a singular squirrel fish. He's so tiny. Maybe it's not this rock. Is it this rock? It should be this rock. Is he gone? Ah, oh, no, there he is. There he is. I see him. Squirrelfish, I can't focus on you, you're so tiny. I can feel the wonder of life and the greatness of the world. Two out of three. And now we're going to get you the three out of three. There we go. Pretty good, pretty good. And I think for last, for this time, we're also going to go into the Hall of Sapphire. Blue Hall. I'm never going to learn. I'm never going to learn, am I? No, it's not Hall of Sapphire. It's Blue Hall. Because it's a North American versus European difference. Looks like you've made eye contact. Indeed. Hello, can you hear me? How's it going down there? The client is absolutely thrilled. Maybe it's time to come back. The thing is, I play this game for the first time in French. I don't know exactly what all the messages mean in English. 
Like, what equivalent they have in French. If I could be reborn, I'd like to come back as a fish. I would like to do that too, but I would not like to be the fish that gets eaten by the shark. <laughs> I want to convey this feeling to all those around me. Oh man, the th the hearing the things that he says in this game. I know this is like a game's character, I a character made in a video game, but it. I really, since I was young, uh, since my childhood, I really had a dream of diving in real life. Like, having a dive in a coral reef somewhere. The thing is, when you're living in Canada, coral reefs and, like, tropical regions, we, we don't have that here. <laughs> oh, wait, uh... Open the Wii menu by accident. Stupid. Uh, but yeah, we don't have like tropical regions or anything here. We, I think we have some whales and dolphins if we really go far out in sea. But it's it's different. It's different here. And I never dove. Like I never put a suit on and went diving in my life. And it's something I really want to do one day. And one day I'm going to do it. Anyways, let's go back to the boat. I could, I could say it's on my bucket list of things to do while I'm still in this world. Hooray! Oh, there's a single spot into the blue hall left. Are you kidding me? Two spots, actually. We'll have to complete them later. That is good for now. That was marvelous. Thank you. You certainly know your stuff. As a sign of my gratitude, let me give you this. You received a large pen. Nice. It's a prototype of mine, codenamed Napoleon. Or Napoleon? Napoleon, I think. Light particles work on water molecules with the action. Well, in other words, it's a pen that you can use underwater. I'm pretty sure it'll come in very handy. Two. Marks or areas of interest or communicate with friends. How you use it is entirely up to you. Anyway, I must be leaving. So, until next time, farewell. I like how the main character never talks. In the entire game, he never says a word. It's up to you to imagine what he says in reply to other people. Because it's more... It makes it more close to you in a way. Because you can actually reply whatever you want in your head. Email received. Let's check it. I doubt it's about the dive that we just did. Oh! Underwater photography. From Douglas Ribbona. My name is Douglas Ribbona, a freelance journalist based in the Powell Republic's capital, Kaya. I'm an old friend of Catherine's. I heard about you and your life of adventure on the high seas. Actually, I've got a favor to ask of you. I want you to take underwater photos of the manor I see. It's one of the most beautiful parts of the South Pacific, but the local guides say it's sacred and net refuse to go near it. I'll send you another mail with details of this job offer, but until then, give it some thought. Okay, so we might have to take some pictures of stuff underwater soon. That is pretty good. And also, new diving gear. Greetings! It seems that you have been working very hard recently. I want you to know that your reputation is suddenly growing among everyone at the Global Marine Foundation headquarters. Uh, let's go down. As a token of our appreciation of your efforts, please find new equipment and clothes. I hope that you will find it useful. New item, submarine suit. Very, very nice. Oh, I want to check it. Oh, and it just became night. Uh, well, not night, but like in the evening. So here we can change our hairstyle. We have a couple hairstyles. I already showed this all last episode. And now we have all of these other sections here. We can now change stuff like the fins, the gloves, the jacket, and the suit. Although we don't have any fins or any gloves or any jacket unlocked yet. And also oh, the tank. But we do have received, we had received a swimming suit. So let's check this out. This is a seaweed suit, a tight suit with a black base and green trimmings. And the other suit is... Be ready! Sorry, I was just trying to make like a, 
Uh, <laughs> and like a drum, drum roll. Although I don't think that was, I don't think really fits it. Anyways, uh, but, but, ignore what I just did. Anyways, let's just check it. Submarine suit. Oh, yes. This is a suit, this is a suit I was using in all my other, um, like my old save game. This is a suit I was using pretty much for the whole thing. Nice, I'm glad of having this back. That'll be more, um, easy for me to, um, like, see the resemblance because I played for, like, a hundred hours with this suit in the other game. And now we have this to use again. Let's put it on. I really want to try that. And it just became nighttime, so we might end this episode with a night dive, uh, somewhere. I'm not exactly sure where. Maybe... Right... Hmm, right there? What would be interesting to dive at night? Yeah, I think we could do that. Around that area. We ha we are free to dive wherever we want for the moment because we don't have any missions. So, let's move the boat right there. And let's make a dive there. I, I'm still trying to do my objective of only diving in areas I already explored. And, oh. Oh, I might receive a mission after all. The mail we received from Douglas contained a photograph request. In order to help him out, you'll need an underwater camera. I have one inside which you can use. It's a little old, but it gets the job done. Underwater camera is now available. The next time you get a request from him, you can attach the photograph to your reply and send it back to him. Pretty cool, so... We'll get a reply, we're actually gonna get a mission that we need to photograph something. That is cool. Okay, we have all three on that. Are those Pygmy? Oh no, those are the young Adelie. I am really bad at distinguishing these guys. Uh, the young ones, I mean, because they just look all the same. African Pigwin is all, all three done. And the Emperors I saw earlier, he's just taking a sun bath from the last... Uh, oh, those ones are just one. Okay. Let's get, the, get them up to two. Two information pieces. There we go. And I think I saw a bird that could land. Oh, that's a bird sound. That's a bird sound. A bird just landed. Where did it land? Ah! Hello. Oh, you're a new one. Brown booby. It's not funny. <laughs> I always found that name in English was pretty funny. I don't know why. Okay, let's go diving. Into the sea, under the sea, under the sea, in the, what could we say, in the wonderful sea of Manurai. I don't know what the heck I'm making with the song. Barrel, barrel, barrel. Ah, oh, I can't make one. I couldn't, I couldn't press it fast enough. It was a long load. Rockland. We are back in Rockland again, it seems. Even though the location is pretty far, it counts me still being in Rockland. Where should we go first? I think I want to go... Oh, I I keep pressing the wrong, the wrong thing. I was trying to close my map, and then for some reason, it opened up the Wii, the home. My fingers aren't pressing the right buttons. Let's go this way. And let's go to the end of Wild Channel first. I think that's a good area to start. How deep is the water here? I'm just wondering. It goes to 21 if we touch the bottom. Oh, random zoom. I like it. Check this out. Oh, wrong button. I always do the wrong button. Oh, starfish. Sea star. Uh, they could have made named it starfish, really? Sea star. I thought those were starfish. Can be seen on the sandy ocean floor in all areas of Manurai all year round. And we just found one today. Okay, let's go this away. Oh, those ones. Those are rock bluff specific. Uh, rock land specific. Again, EU versus NA version, sorry. Bowmouth guitar fish. But you again. There we go. We now have the third information on these guys. Pretty good. 
Are we heading in the right direction? Well, yeah, we are. This is the beginning of Wild Channel. Oh, and th that school of fish is still there. Although it might have changed. I don't think those are the same fish that we find in the day. Oh, no, they are. They are. It's just because of the day they look way more um, orange-greenish. I don't know how to exactly to say it. It looks like it's a different type of fish, but it's just because of the... I hate the Wii menu! I... Well, I don't hate it, but I hate pressing that key accidentally. Ah, uh, I, I, that's the third time I do that a single recording. Oh, I wonder if I should name this episode something related to that. I might. Oh, that's funny. Um... Okay, let's go up this rock. This is really close to the surface. I, I don't I can't even swim there. Okay, wait, that one. That is a fish that I don't think I have three on. That one right there. I, can I even focus on you? I, why can I focus on this one? Seriously, I can't focus on that fish. I think it's because it's on the other side. Um I can't focus on that fish at all. Can I with other fish? Are these fish ghosts? I can't focus on any of those ones. Okay, that one I can. Okay, I don't know what happened with those ones, but I think they just became ghosts. Then that's the explanation I'm going to be going with. They're ocean ghosts. That's a really small uh, guitar fish. And never mind, that's actually kind of a big one. Those fish are one of the few fish in Endless Ocean I see that actually change their size. Like, there are some specimens that are really big, some are smaller, and no other fish seems to really be doing that. Maybe the sharks do it, although I never really notice a difference with those ones. Let's go, let's go down this way to the unknown. It seems like the sea, the ocean floor is going even deeper than it is already. It goes down to a slope. We are already, if I'm checking, 26 meters underwater and it seems like we're going even deeper than that. Well, actually way deeper than that. This goes way down. Where are we now? Okay, we're there. We are now how deep? 37. 37 meters underwater. Usually this would be past the recommended dive, uh, diving depth. I think it's 30 meters that it's recommended uh, like to stop the dive when you reach too deep because it's bad for health if you go too deep underwater. And when you go deep underwater, and if you're a trained diver, you have to stop when you're going back up at various different depths to be able to get your body and your pressure in your blood back to what it was before. Oh, I think I know what we just found. See that? That's a cliff. That, I, uh, yeah, I know exactly what we just found. We found the abyss, I think. Yeah, look. That is deep. And the music that plays to this area, I love it. This is, I think, my coolest, like, my coolest diving location in the game is this area. Because seriously, look how deep that goes. I can't see the bottom. I can see the walls, but I can't see the bottom. That's going quite far down. Yeah, this is a really cool area. This is the only area I think that goes this deep. Look, we can go 40, 50, and then, oh, the abyss. An extremely deep crevice. Without the right equipment, it's too dangerous to go any further. All right, let's go back up. We are not allowed to go into the abyss yet. 
In the future, we will. Spoiler alert, sorry. In the future, we're gonna go down there, but not yet. We don't have the equipment. I know there are some specific fish that you can find on the side of it, though. Especially at night. Oh, uh, let's check this out. Ah, uh, auto swim. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, this one. Ah, first try. This is an abyssal fish that goes up from the abyss at night, and you can find it on the rim. Many fish in real life that live into the deep sea go up at night to get some food at the surface. And this game tried to recreate this with the mauve stinger. And another uh, smaller fish that I think we're going to find too. This is a fish uh, can be seen mainly around the deep valley area all year round. Exactly. And there's another one that I really want to find too on the rim. Can we find it is the question. Usually I find tons of these. Come on. Ah, are you serious? Well, let's go the other way. I think we can still find one. There's also some other fish that go up above the crevice at night. Although, I'm not sure we're going to find some because of the stupid diving circle logic. In which if a fish would be generated from the game, outside of your diving circle, then the game just doesn't create the fish. In that dive, anyways. I mean, in that specific dive. If you go diving where it is in your diving circle next time, then it will be. Oh, oh, that, yeah, that's shark. I want to check that shark in a second. Just want to do this first. Please, tell me there's a zoo. Oh, there's a treasure. Treasure. Treasure get. And it is... What? It's a Stark's Demoiselle Zoom. These seem to be always with Stark Demoiselle for some reason. Storyboard piece. I don't know if we already found some of those. Let's look on the other side of this. Aha! Is this gonna be it? No, but this is one of the fish that you find around Deep Valley. These fish are found always on the rim of the Deep Valley. Day and night. These are the Sunset Antheas. And these Isets can be seen in the coral in all areas of Manoraya all year round. But I always and never found them elsewhere than Deep Valley Rim. So I don't know why or where they could be found elsewhere. Okay, we're on the border, so we can't we can't look at zooms there. I really hope the other fish is there. I don't think it is though. I think we're gonna find it this dive. Let me just take a last look. Anything? Yeah, no, not on this dive. We're gonna find it some other time. I'm gonna have to do another night dive here when I'm gonna be in the center of Deep Valley because I really want to see the nighttime fish of this area. We weren't, our boat uh, diving circle wasn't close enough. See, like the Deep Valley location is even outside of it. And this is a zebra shark, I think. These fish can also be seen in the Deep Valley area all year round. Yep, be seen mainly around the Deep Valley all year round. And I think that's pretty much all the fish that we're going to be able to see in this dive in this area, except maybe one more. But for that one, I have to go up a lot. I have to go near the surface. I wonder if the game generated those in this dive, because I might, they might have not, because they might have spawned outside of the diving circle. And hello! That's a good surprise! I'm gonna be able to get this whale, finally! Wasn't able to get it last time. Humpback whale, there we go, second whale added to our, whoa, its fin just went right through us. Oh, and also, uh, just for you to know, you can actually ride whales if you do A and B. Now I'm clinging on the whale, and wherever the whale is going to go, I'm going to follow. I'm just holding on to it just like this. This is also a pretty good view. You can do the two on your Wii Remote to be able to change the camera to front, and I think even side, yeah. And the other side. Can you take pictures like this, though? If I had the... No, I can't. I can't open my, um, 
my tool menu because when you get the camera you can take pictures underwater with the tool menu and you can't open the tool menu when you're into this view where are we going well where are you heading i wonder is it just gonna go all around the rockland area nighttime diving on a whale <laughs> in endless ocean pretty cool stuff and I think this whale is going to go out of our diving circle. It's going to kick us off, is it? Any moment? Any moment? Oh, okay. Oh, it still has a little bit to go. Now it should be really close. Any moment now. The game is going to eject us, I know it. There we go. Yeah, because when the whale goes outside of the diving circle, it just drops you off at the last location. And we travel quite a bit with that, too. We are now over here. Anyways, I think that'll be it for this little dive here. We can head back to the boat. First, I just want to check this fish here. This is the Boa's parrot. We can get the third one of this as the last thing. Come on. There we go. Now I'm satisfied. Okay, let's head back to the boat. Return to your boat. We are back onto the Gabbiano. Let's see how much map we uncovered. Pretty good, and that's the deep valley you can see down there. Or that's like part of it. I still didn't have the chance to explore all of it yet. But I would say that's a good part of the map uncovered. Email received, that's pretty good. We're gonna check that probably in the next episode because this one is getting a little bit on the long side already, so I have to end it quick, sorry. Uh, I still want to keep my content under 30 minutes if I can. Anyways, that'll be it for this episode of Endless Ocean. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed, and I really hope that I gave you a smile, a laugh, a chuckle, or something. Something good, because if I did, I'm happy. And that's all I'm trying to do with this. But anyways, that'll be it for this one. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode. Mettre des blocs, out.